Okay, welcome back. Um, in this part, uh, we are going to learn how to draw an area chart. Uh, until now, <clears throat> we've learned uh, in path how to draw a curved line or straight lines. Uh, but now, uh, I wanna I wanna show you how we can um, draw an area chart. And um, so let's begin. I'll, first of all, I'll add a new a new file. Um, let's call let's call it an area. .js. Enter. Okay. Now I'm going back to my HTML and I'm going to point to area JS. Uh, refresh it. Okay. I have a blank line. A blank a blank uh, page. Sorry. Um, going back to area JS. Okay, so <clears throat> until now, uh, I mean, we, we, as as I said, uh, we are still in the path area, and path still get D, only D. Um, but before we saw lines uh, connected one to another, creating a path. Uh, for, for, with straight lines or with with curved lines and I want to show you how we can create an area chart and for area chart uh, we need uh, a new uh, data array a different one uh, so let's create it first of all I'm gonna add um, 10 different values um, it doesn't really matter what are the values uh, only thing that you probably uh, will notice is that I'm I'm using uh, one two three six <coughs> seven eight nine okay um, I, I'm I'm using uh, uh, val increased uh, values and okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Those are my ten values. And if I wanna, you know what? Let's say twelve, uh, five, twenty-two, and five, and uh, five, sixty. Uh, and I'll I'll create a new uh, data array, <coughs> but I'll call that. Uh, data month and in here of course oops I'll create one for each month so 12 values here and 12 values in here um, let's create two uh, uh, two values variable sorry for uh, the height so let's say 400 and the second value will be for uh, width and let's say something like that okay now uh, so at the, at the previous uh, video we saw how we are creating a generator for line so now I'm going to show you how to create a generator for area um, so let's call that an area like that and taking v3 dot surprising area like that okay and in here we are going to use x um, I'm leaving it like that for a second but instead of y only we are using y0 and uh, sorry and y1 like that closing that okay so this is what we're getting um, x is the x value <coughs> going from for from sorry from left to right remember the zero zero coordinates are in here and y goes down like that and x goes to the right so uh, my x uh, for, uh, sorry again um, because I'm using uh, y0 and y1, I need to explain 
uh, why I'm doing it like that. So y0 is basically um, uh, is we are using it as the base uh, the baseline because um, uh, y goes from zero to I don't know how much, but let's say 100%. I want to flip. We we want to flip uh, the view, and we want to create uh, the zero uh, origin for y um, at the bottom and not at the top. Okay, so I'm we took I'm I'm taking a y zero and I'm saying uh, let's use 400 as the baseline for uh, for y. I'll show you that um, and explain that when we'll finish uh, to fill all the details and, and you'll see that on our page. But uh, I'm telling you that Y0 is the lowest, um, the lowest um, Y coordinate that, that we're trying to use. And uh, Y1 will be a function if it's not if it's not very uh, intuitive, uh, just be patient and uh, and I'll explain everything at the end. Um, but in here, my function is getting d and returning um, the height minus d. Okay, so if I'm getting, I'm I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the data array as the height. So um, if I'm getting 14, then uh, this will be at 400, and the first uh, will be the first um, position will be at 400 minus 14. Okay, that's how how I'm I'm calculating uh, this value for y1. So it will be above it. Okay, and x will be uh, also a function because I want it to be uh, changed uh, like the month of the year and I'll do it oops, sorry like that return um, I times uh, 20 let's say like that and uh, ta -ta 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 okay so this is this is the the, um, the the generator for the area, okay. And now um, I want to append that to my page. Uh, so like before, like we've done at the previous uh, videos, um, I'm creating an SVG. Okay, I'll do that quickly. D3 dot select body. dot um, append svg dot attr height 100% dot <coughs> attr with One hundred percent like that, and in here, SVG, <clears throat> and this is the the important part. SVG append. We are appending path. Okay. Sorry, path like that, and the attribute is D, like in here. D. And the generator is area, which is getting data array, like that. Okay, I'm saving that. Going back to my page, sorry. Refreshing it. Okay, and we have this chart. Um, let's change the last values. Uh, say 200... Three, three, three. Okay, so this is my area chart. Let's take a look inside in here. 
we can see that we have again m0386 okay and we have l l and so on straight lines you see tick tick straight lines like that okay and if you'll take a if you'll notice at the end of this d values string of values we have z capital z capital z is uh, basically closing with straight line uh, our er our path um, so at the end of of my uh, data it just draw a line and close uh, at the beginning of my um, my uh, area chart so that's basically it okay um, and uh, that's how you can how you can uh, create uh, an area chart obviously you can change the filling of this uh, by going sorry to here and uh, you can say like that you can say uh, sorry ATTR uh, fill I don't know pink or something refresh it and it didn't change the fill I saved it no it didn't save it control s refresh okay and my area uh, chart is uh, filled with pink that's it for now thanks for joining me and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and i'll see you at the next part of this tutorial goodbye